Hey there, Jeremy here from rcnightmare.com. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the stock Traxxas um, electronic control. Uh, I had a little issue this week session with polarity, let's call it. Kind of got lazy and plugged in the controllers wrong. I plugged in the battery backwards like a total idiot. And uh, since then, we switched it to Dean, so that never happens again. But thought we'd do an unboxing of the replacement. We, of course, paid full retail. I decided not to go with some crazy story to Traxxas and just, and just buy it. Picked it up at uh, Hobby Town. Same price, really, as anywhere else here in the Falls. And uh, as you see, the you know, pretty standard Traxxas packaging. This is the XL5. This is what you're going to find in the slash two-wheel drive. This is for a uh, brushed system. Um, why didn't we upgrade to a brushless right away, a lot of people are going to ask. Because we're still doing stock comparisons between this and the SC10. I would have loved to spend uh, the $40 um, upgrading this to a brushless system as opposed to just putting back the same stock stuff that was in there. But we bought these trucks for a reason, and it's to compare against other stock setups. So that's what we have. Um, it's got three different profiles, just like any the other, you know the standard Traxxas uh, electronic speed control. So it's got sport mode, so it's basically for bashing, 100% forward, 100% reverse, 100% brakes. So basically, if you forward on the controller, it's going to engage the brakes. Uh, after you stop, it's going to basically switch over to reverse. Um, then you've got race mode, which is just 100% forward, 100% brakes, no reverse, because you're not allowed to use reverse in races. And then training mode, which is just 50% forward, 100% brakes, 50% reverse. Good uh, setting for parents to set on their kids without telling them, but I can't imagine anyone's going to open up a slash and want to immediately dial it down to half speed. So let's open this up here. To open it, you've got the uh, instruction manual, warranty card. I'll be filling it out this time. And this little easy setup tip or easy uh, set tips. And then you've got the ESC. Not the most amazingly packaged item I've ever seen in my life, but probably fine for this. Um, also, what's included is if you can see this is the little um, sticky pad that you put on the bottom of the ESC. To, and then that adheres to both the ESC and the vehicle you're putting it in, so it stays stays put. All the wires are already connected here. You've got the standard standard Traxxas connector uh, for the battery, which we'll be switching out to Dean's, of course, so this never happens again. And you've got your power that goes out to the motor. And uh, really, that's that's about all that there is to say about this. There's a small blue button on here. For the easy set, that's how you set the different training modes. And uh, it's got a decent heat sink on here on the top. Uh, but you could upgrade that if you, if you ran into heating issues. But this is the stock Traxxas XL5 speed control. If you're running brushed, it's really a, not a bad speed controller. If you want to run brushless or you want something with a LiPo cutoff, you know, that's, it's not going to work for you. But um, really, everything's set. I mean, this is, of course, like anything else with them, it's all waterproof. So um, you can run anything from four to eight cell batteries, and that's how you do it. <laughs> so if you like our videos, you want to stay up on uh, when we release them, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you get some spare time, shoot on over to our website at rcnightmare.com. For a whole slew of new information, we have a blog and a forum and other videos that we don't post up to YouTube and all sorts of fun stuff there. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.